My name is Michael and this is Orality Part 3. So today we're going to be talking about the idea that a lot of people can logically become oral people or fake to be oral people. But uh, it's sort of working, sort of not, depends how you think about it. But I think that a lot of people don't even want to become oral people. Anyways, so, uh, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, so basically anyone can, but technically from birth I had a very robust voice, so I want to tell you a little bit about the childhood nature of an oral person. So I was growing up and I was a very nice kid, I was very calm, I didn't have this ADD on my side of virality, and I was just this witty kid who constantly saw that one of my friends, my childhood friends, he was kind of like, like you know, I'd say like the devil a little bit. In, in terms of being very strict in his house, but yet we were still friends. I was running around away from him when he had a knife and he was like wanting me to give him some head or something. Whoa, that's crazy. I know, but we, we had it as a joke and we were really out there in, in a sense of not, not being like in the closet. Oh, fuck, it's so weird. When, when, whenever you're an oral person, you, you get mixed up with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, uh, we, we were joking about things that other people th would think were crazy, but uh, yeah. And uh, no, I do not like men again to tell you. Did I tell that in every fucking video that I do? Anyways, I, uh, yeah, Ugh, gonna lose some audience on that. But anyways, my mouth is just speaking rational honesty, and I cannot stop it, and that's part of my nature. And I constantly say things that shouldn't be said, and people get me in trouble a lot of the time but uh, I also know how to get away from it but it's a pain in the ass because the, let's say you have some kind of uh, normal personality type where you constantly don't want to talk to people but yet you have the tendency or 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 the uh, trained ability I wouldn't say it's really trained I would say that it's a repeated ability to have a certain belief system that is made in a very communicative way or maybe in a communicative way when I was a kid I wasn't very like into intellectual things, uh, into like heavy analytical knowledge. I was very surface oriented. So I, I just saw things on the surface. I really liked connecting plainly with emotions and sometimes deep in meaning I had uh, my own ideas. So technically I wasn't very open to other people, but at the same time, yeah, I was very closed and I was very lost and I was, and I was seemingly to be very different. And uh, the way I saw it, like uh, my time in school was very uh, being isolated and just talking to people, telling them stories and that's all I could do because I know I didn't really know how to explain myself and I never really used the normal method because I always believed in something more I was a very systemic thinker and in fact a pretty much analytical but at the same time no I wasn't at the same time I was really raw and I always wanted to prove the nature of uh, showing people that there is rawness that there is reality to things beyond all the things that people just do to uh, be susceptible to the system which is like to the schools system to any other kind of system being organized and being much more uh, developed and much more competitive and much more I don't know how to say this because it's very hard I, I, I took the ability to see it differently so I forgot the word but I would say that the word would be much more less proactively competitive with other people. This is something that we're going to touch on in social Darwinism, which is the idea that being mean gets you further than being nice gets you nowhere, like almost. But that's that's just the, the, the things that, you know, a lot of people think that they will get hope do making it the other way around, and maybe they will, maybe they won't. It, it's a risky deal, and on the other side, you're guaranteed 50-50, whatever you, you know, mean you could get, how nice you could get. The more mean you get, well, obviously, I think the more stuff you get. But it, it, it it's it's weird because the nature. Na uh, when I was growing up, I, I learned and read about a little bit of things, but not a lot. Like I read about nature's law, read about Dale Carnegie, and stuff like that. When I was just a kid, I so saw I was pretty much. Uh, not a very talkative person, but then later I realized that things aren't just in society, and that 
we saw there needs to be a person who would actually go out there and uh, create a difference and show people what is not right but in in reality it's also kind of delusional and illusional to think that and I'm not like one of those hypocritic people who just like say oh uh, well this never worked out so I'll never do it that's the difference between morality people they live the moment they live one fact their entire life to prove you wrong to prove humanity wrong and in general and there is an idea that uh, as a person when I just never heard about the system I was definitely behaving differently and now I just realized that there are some things that are relative to what I do and a lot of things are and that is including uh, synthetic communication that I realized that oh this thing actually exists great so now I'm gonna follow the system and be more of a stereotype than I, than I was natural before but this is definitely me because a lot of people were always fascinated by how talkative I wanted to be and how much I could offer to other people uh, with that way but it, it really much that's a kid related to narcissism because because it was kind of uh, you know trying to analyze uh, people and be yourself is is much more self-concerning than trying to go out into the public and see the public opinion see the public facts so there's like inner and extroverted uh, oriental uh, and uh, analyzation on certain topics and theories so the theory was that people aren't being correct in a, in a moment that they should be so I was actually born pretty much very analytical and well behaved and on another note uh, I'm an Indo in in uh, I hate indigo person which is basically a person who has a very good systemic way of analyzing information and seeing the bigger picture of things so that's it and uh, I don't plan my videos ever so you know and uh, you know I want to talk about the nature in orality part th shades of orality part three to say that there are people who express things better than others and uh, other people are better of the nature not being very expressive in what they do so giving you an example like I could be very calm and you will never notice an oral personality in me but when it comes to my life you will understand that I do a lot of analysis well not really I do quick yeah actually I do a lot of analysis and I do quick judgment which makes me the oral person and it's very easy for me to gather ideas and great get concepts across from to from me to you so another thing you see you always got to keep on things in track but it, it it has to do with the lifestyle it has to do I was a salesman actually and I sold things I sold USB sticks but I never really liked money that much but do you technically also want to be a millionaire so it's pretty much hypocritical in here it's, it's crazy it's all jumbled up and um, yeah and, and, oh, and oral people are ra raw and savage and they're not organized and technically they just want to relate to animal nature so you got to understand that and maybe our temperament is not non-living so yeah it technically is because we have delusion Illusions, not delusions. <laughs> so it's a big fucking difference. Uh, illusions that say that we uh, have to behave in this certain way, and we believe that we gotta be in this certain way, and no other way than that. And we believe that there is a certain system change. And guess what? Well, sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong. But yeah, it's crazy. We, the the life turns into something unique rather than something normal. So I mean, if you're another oral person, and if you relate to this video, I'd really like to hear what you gotta say about that stuff. And and uh, what I wanted to say, sometimes I lose my thought, oh yeah, it's that, you know, you're born with a certain uh, vibration of facts that you experience in your life, and then that relates to your inner mind, but if the person gets uh, weighted down, even in an oral state of mind, in heavy emotion, heavy facts, and heavy conditions, like for example, being a very slow in communicating your ideas, then being fast, so d diverting from the nature of how you were doing things, then the person would slow down because he would go away from the norm, and the norm would go there, and it would be harder to explain things to someone, and, and a lot of people don't really pay attention to oral people. Uh, as much in, in today's society it was something that they did before because they're very good at screaming and that's why I have a very loud voice but you know if, if you're very jealous of about any of it then you were also definitely you could start your journey to becoming an oral person it doesn't matter and uh, the next thing is that yes I'm, I'm the most out of everyone 
of analytical nature to the human emotion. So I really feel it and I'm very sensitive to it. That's why I have a very intuitive side of, of thinking in my socionics types uh, for W3. And I want to say that, you know, the people who are more expressive with their oral nature, which try to fake it sometimes and do the things absolutely different from the nature uh, that we do, is is another form of orality. Well, it's still defying. You're still defying something. You're defying against the nature of other people. You're defying fact that other people are born that way, and you decide to put a fact somewhere else. So it's also fine. So they make a face like this. So what you want to know? Well, we were going to tell you everything that you desire because you know what you are about and you're going to play on the civil laggers. I know you want to know. doesn't matter where you go because I am all the system of the puck popularity of the things you can you bring with separate singularity oh you just gotta see this oh gotta be yourself gotta be me but exactly I'm not exactly there I'm a little bit unaware of the subconscious mind of Blair oh I gotta take the things for granted know all of things that are bullshit but I wanna know other things I want to realize what I could wind up though, oh yeah, that's the way we're gonna go by, and we're never gonna know it, we're gonna just be within our own body, yeah, mind, yeah. So that's another type of people. And they can definitely do this, and they can definitely make a smile, they can definitely make a face, they can do it for your disgrace. And that's fine, they are also oral. So I want to clarify this, and I hope you understand. And definitely making that face is gonna be really hard because after you make that face and you're gonna like try to be someone else, you it's gonna be really hard for you to actually gather ideas to kind of uh, say something after somebody says a deep question and you have to say something you really care about. So when you really understand people, you would probably be called oral. So anyways, bye bye. I hope you like this video. I I really love you guys. That's why I do this. I do. I know I don't like. I don't like to lie. Bye bye.